Um, Auto rental. What's that? Says Eldon. Yeah, so that's what I want to <laughs> know too, because I'm not auto renting, uh, and I I kind of want to learn, and I feel like it's it's something that everyone could benefit a walkthrough of. Um, okay. So I'll isolate some cards here that are uh, not delegated and for rent. You could do all the ones that are for delegated too. It applies to those. Uh, it applies to everything okay. that you have for rent. It applies oh, oh, to everything right, right. that you have for rent, unless you create a set and exclude those from the exclude that set. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I so you've got how many cards are 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 selected or are for rent? Oh, for rent that. Delegated if you scroll up just a little bit, if you scroll up a little bit to the top, yeah. we have yeah. a little stat that tells you how many are. Keep going up. Scroll this up. The, this is the top. Uh, scroll up on the right hand bar. Sorry. Oh. Uh, so two thousand one hundred and seventy cards. Yep. All right. So go to your profile, which is over there on the right hand, and click profile. All right. So auto rental prices. It, it, next to it, it says. Uh, configure now, but, uh, yeah, you can configure now. So it's on the top left section. Okay. So go down, okay, it says so auto like, rental right. configure now. So what this does is this, that splinter lands rental authority. So it's a delegated authority that allows us to not spend your money or anything. This specific authority allows us to list your cards for rent or relist okay. them or so this isn't them. like giving my private active key to you no there's there's no hive uh, action authority uh, okay with this. i think this, I think is, a this, is, this is what put me on pause when i went to do it myself and i had forgotten about this part and this is definitely what i was like uh, that's a lot of that's i don't know what's going on you know, i was like it's a lot of work uh, yeah and well, because you know, we, you know how we are. We don't want to give away yeah. keys that are like, you know. Nothing nothing Hive related, no keys. This is a Splinterlands thing, you know. Yeah, and, no, that's, um, that's cool. That's cool. I'm, I'm it, glad. It does there. give us authority to list your cards for sure. rent, you know. Sure. Um, yeah. And, oh, like today was a day after the end of the season. So a lot of cards got repriced. But we repriced 306,000 cards today. And yesterday is more normal. Like, uh, more normal days is like 93,000. But because of the end of the season still has this kind of like up and down, you know? Sure. So anyways, so we need 10 accounts to do all of that because they're all Hive transactions. And so we're doing it all. And you're not going to spend any RC to do any of this. We spend all the RC to do all this. So, okay, and that's I, and I, that's really nice. And I should be, uh, I should have an. A, I th I think I my account's still active. I did uh, upgrade or whatever. Oh, we'll go over that here in a moment. You don't need yeah. premium to do this. It's free okay. for everyone. Right, right, right. I'm just but everyone that. gets one thousand repricings. You have a lot of cards, but a lot of your users don't have that many cards. They maybe have right. like renting out a hundred cards. So 1000 repricings, it's going to last them a decent amount of time. Sure, sure. But you're going to burn through them a lot faster. So, yeah, that's, that's my MO. Mm -hmm. I, what, what's your, what's your mindset here? Are you more aggressive or conservative? I will be aggressive. All right. So. Let me walk through. Okay. We check your cards every, in your case, every 12 hours. We go and look at your cards. Next okay. section is we look at the currently rented ones, the ones that are delegated successfully. And then we reprice the cards only if they are lower 
then the 80th percentile, you see your box that says 80th yep. percentile. Mm -hmm. 80, percentiles are different than percentages. We, we reprice them only if they are yeah. lower than the 80th percentile by 40%. You can change that to, that's default for aggressive. You could change it to 39%, 41, oh, okay. 50%, whatever you want. Okay. And then we set them. You're like, oh, these are like the market has changed. Cards have gone up and down. The market has changed. Now the 80 percentile is here. So do you want us to reprice them? Okay, they're, you know, they're they're off by, you know, 40%. So we're going to reprice them now to back to 80%. Okay. Plus one or minus one. So, mm -hmm. so uh, you know, the quick config just kind of gives you a, a basis and then you can do what you're just doing. So okay. you're being way more aggressive, which means you're going to use more repricings, just so you know. My man. Uh, okay, and then we look at the other cards that aren't being rented. Like the, no one has success, no one has has done has rented them for in your case for twenty four hours. They have okay. stayed unrented, and so now what do you want to do with them? Uh, You've had them at like eightieth percentile, so maybe you're like, meh. All right, we'll go down to sixtieth, sixty six percentile minus five percent. You like where my head's at? That is that is more aggressive, and you can just see, you can go back in. We aren't we aren't a bot that is pricing cards for people. We are right. deciding things. Everything is being decided right here, uh, and by, the market by the, by is the current data by the current data that we're looking and, at, and the, all and the, the time bot that I'm creating through this window here. Yeah. So you've decided everything. Everyone is right. deciding their own thing. It's no system where, you know, tons of users are using the same system. And that bot is like, who gets priority? Okay, we're going to make this person a winner, right. this person a loser. You are happen to be the one that's determining uh, if you want to be the winner or loser. This uh, is, there this is, is a, This is a winning ticket, I can tell. <laughs> All right. Now, and, now, if you exceed and, the 1,000, we re uh like repricings what what does that trigger do you have to pay that's when you pay for membership yeah let me let me finalize this okay, with I'm him I, I wanted to show the exclusions here if you got a lot of cards that are those like dumb 0.1 dec you don't want to use repricings on those you could make a whole entire set i have like a set of three thousand of those that i don't reprice Got and you. maybe I can go in and manually replace them all at once, like once a month or every two months, just kind of sure. come in. It's like, oh, these cars are now worth more than 0. 0.1. Okay, I'll go in and change that. Uh, yeah, no, so you I, can do I, an exclusion set. I spent yeah. two hours today actually combining cards because I, I I like to just have like, you know, max versions of stuff. And, um, you know, mm. having having already so many cards like dealing in sub max it just makes it too tedious anyway so oh uh, yeah um plus you know like i, I want to support like the vision of everybody max their stuff all right i'm gonna go over the repricings <laughs> i i'm just reading that comment i don't like peak monsters because i spend so much time using it that i forget to eat if they just be integrate order pizza <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's funny good. okay First of all, Ganks changed it to check every three hours, which is fine. Uh, it, yeah, if you hit confirm, you could always change this. You could always change this anytime you want. So if you hit confirm, I will show you. Now with and the reality is it's not With premium membership, how many repricings do I have? 25,000 a month. Let's go. All right. So, all right, cool. I just want yeah. to make sure. So, I, oh, I with can, three thousand cards, that could be eaten up pretty, pretty quick, though, right? If you with this more aggressive hour and that aggressive, like that's what I'm trying to point out. The game. Let me let me show. Like currently rented, probably is going to be fine. 80th percentile is a very common uh, place to rent. I get most of my cards rented at 80th percentile, but most of the reward cards are hard to rent. Yeah. No, that, that uh, because that, there's so many of them. 
I will make the set for them or something to exclude those ones. And then I'll get and, even and more because testing. what's what's going to happen is if those reward cards don't get rented for 24 hours, it's going to reprice them. And then every, every three hours, it's probably going to reprice the ones that aren't like if the market changes, you know, it's going to yeah. go in and like, sure. And, and do that sort of thing. It's typically the repricings are, are harder on the reward cards because there's just so many of them and everyone's being pretty oh, competitively oh, trying to price them totally yeah. totally and and they're they're there's less to be made off of those for uh when you do rent them so they're taking more mm -hmm. resources for less less uh earning there you go you can hit confirm Thanks for watching here's a couple of videos for you to check out and of course hit that like button and that subscribe button right next to it we appreciate you all we're having a good time